Hey guys, do you want to see a movie that features a rescue, seduction, and hand-to-hand combat? It's all of us. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you do, then Sinbad in the Seven Seas. Is that the of the Seven Seas? Of the Seven Seas is for you. It, I just have written Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about if you get hot, you want some candy, spray the chocolate. People thought I was on crack. I was. <laughs> For people who have not seen Sinbad of the Seven Seas, yes. right? uh, Sinbad and his shipmates aid a young prince <laughs> who, <Shipmates. laughs> who must battle an evil wizard to gain the hand of a beautiful princess. Sinbad of the Seven Seas is the movie that we watch. Uh, my name is Brian Lee. Uh, to my left is Bram Bram. To my right is drinking. Chris for Lee. Yeah. Um, Brian. It's <laughs> 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 funny after we just recorded, we're like, we're like yeah, our flow's back, man. Yeah, feels good to be doing it. And I'm like, Duh. I like chips. The Jesus God. Five donkey chips. <laughs> Brian, do you recommend the Sinbad of the Seven Seas? Starring Lou Ferrigno? I don't think we said that yet. I do. Huh. Bram Bram, do you recommend Sinbad of the Seven Seas? I do. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I'll be completely honest. Haven't even thought about that question until right now. <laughs> wow. uh, it was definitely better than grad. Uh, what is <laughs> no, it? Yeah. Warriors. Yeah. Graduates of Malibu High. Uh, by the end, I'll have an, I'll have an opinion. <laughs> yeah. So, so just a uh, caveat here. I can let you know why, because I didn't realize this about maybe five to ten minutes in. I've seen this before. Really? Oh, I've seen this when I was a kid. I used to remember that the channel 50, whatever they like, used to play. Yeah. Those oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen this tons of times. Really? I completely forgot until like it was, I think I've seen this. Yep. I've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically when I saw his crew. I just yeah. picture you talking to your cat. Like I've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm just like, no, not now, Dad. I'm watching. <laughs> I gotta see this movie that I right, see. Right, yeah. No, yeah, it was when I saw his crew. Because I'm just like, I remember um, that Poochie. Yeah, Poochie. <laughs> I, re- oh, I remember him. I remember the Viking dude, the Asian guy. I remember, oh, I'm just like, well, it brought back so much. Like, yeah, so nostalgic memories. I, it was I so was nice. A, I wasn't a huge fan of this, but I could see children liking it. So I'm sure if you see this at the right age, it's probably amazing. It, it is... Cause it's one of those movies when you're a kid where it's like you, you can't watch. You know, at least my parents weren't like wouldn't let me watch like Hot the Chili. Radio. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, this is one of the movies where they let me watch it, but there's still like people like there's fights and like yeah. like some it's blood an adventure stuff. Movie. Yeah, yeah, fantasy adventure. It was. It's a. I think it's a great kid movie for like fantasy stuff. I think it's mm-hmm. perfect. And for me, like I said, because I was a kid when I watched it. But I don't think it was I geared toward it. kids. No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it was. But I mean, there wasn't like, I mean, there wasn't like crazy nudity. I don't think there's any nudity. Actually. Well, and then it wasn't super yeah. violent at all. It was based so. off the Edgar Allan Poe story. So I wonder <laughs> what if they talk about in the uh, yes, opening. Yeah. Cast. Well, yeah, I totally wrote, thought I downloaded the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I'm, I'm like, it's like, I'm like, like PBS special. Yeah, Edgar Allan Poe. Poe invented Sinbad. Yeah. Yeah. It was that was weird, but no, I. <sighs> I loved it. Whenever I, especially whenever I see a picture of Edgar Allan Poe, all I can think of is Edgar Allan Poe on South Park. There's lots of stuff cool about it. Like what? Dying alone in a soiled bed so the rats can eat your fares. I enjoy the movie. However, yes, this movie probably has some of the worst ADR. Yes. Specifically, the little child. Please tell me a story, mommy. All right, sweetie. I'll read you a story. I remember the the woman narrating. Yes. But I don't remember the kids. Probably because I was kid when I watched it. But I still, like, that was never a thing. You probably remember the narrator because she does a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to telling the story. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, she's the big. And also, it made me think of, (laughs) because there's a Man of War song, a terrible Man of War song, that also starts with, like, this little kids. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. It's like, grandfather, tell me a story. And I remember... (laughs) We were like 16 or something like that. We were pretty young. So Luke showed it to our one, one buddy. He's like, dude, this song's awesome. You check it out. So like the, it's like this man of war. So it's about this metal band. Mm-hmm. And they're like, and the kid's like, 
Yes. Where were those four men? They were the kings of metal. My buddy's like, he's like, ah, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he was just like heartbroken. He thought it was so awesome. Oh, oh my god, fantastic. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that child's voice is fucking terrible. Yeah, yes. Um, yep. But yeah, like uh, I could see how it's directed <clears throat> towards kids because you have like this cast of characters, like yeah. almost as if like you were playing a video game right? Yes. and you can choose that's, like from this yeah, cast. That's exactly yep. what it was. Yeah, <clears throat> right. Completely. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, once I heard the name Poochie, once again, yeah. the Simpsons. <laughs> I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the first thing I noticed is like, wow, this sound is really bad. Because even mm -hmm. Lou Frigno's voice. Oh, is yeah. it Lou Frigno? No, I don't think... I don't think any of the voices are who they are. Yeah. So except I, for Jafar. Jafar. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Jafar. <laughs> Jafar. Uh, <laughs> just went around him. Yeah. <laughs> the so actually in the trivia, I guess that was common of low budget Italian movies. They would film and not have any sound equipment. Huh. So like they filmed this entire movie and then later went to the studio and did everyone's voices, all the sound effects, all the music. Wow. Oh. So everyone is ADR'd in this movie. And it shows. <laughs> you, yeah, you can tell that stuff is off a bit. Right. Yeah, because I, I was thinking, I'm like, well, how come their voices aren't matching? Yeah, because they're speaking English. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just was poorly synced. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I, yeah, the girl, like, mm. the first time I was like, that's weird. And mm. then when I heard Lou Frigno, I was like, that's not his voice. I, I think he's always, his dialogue's always replaced, though. I'm it was, sure. um, a lot of his, like, early stuff. I think there's some, like, 90s stuff that he actually spoke in. I think. I can't re I looked into it a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know why I did. But mm. I, I recall this. I think there's like a few 90s stuff he, like, he actually spoke in, but he didn't do much of it because he didn't like. Always half deaf. Well, yeah. Huh, thanks for the death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know that. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> don't yell at me. <laughs> yes, he's half deaf. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> don't thank me now. <laughs> 19 minutes in, I loved uh, Jafar. And my heart's desire. Ha! <laughs> I <have that>. ah! <laughs> yes, I also wrote that down. <laughs> uh, just before that, though, around like 18 minutes, Lou Frigno has a full on conversation with rubber snakes. <laughs> yes, which he later yes. uses to tie together yes. to climb up. <laughs> so yeah. that was amazing Those to me as a kid. Snakes would be absolutely like murdered, right? If Lou Frigno held onto a snake <laughs> oh, yeah. with his weight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it depends on what kind of knot you use, but yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I bet I mean, that whole scene where like he's like knotting snakes together. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna keep coming back to it, but this brought back so much. Like, I remember like being a kid, you know, at night, you know, laying down before bed watching this, and like him doing the snakes. I'm like, would the snakes really let him do that? Like, think, well, <laughs> kid stuff, you know, like yeah. thinking like. But I, rem I remember watching it now, and then being like. I remember thinking like if that was a feasible thing. I remember thinking if he can do this, like just throughout. I was like, like with the Amazon <laughs> Island, like, man, those women, like they really charm men like that. That's crazy. Just, I was a dumb kid, man. I, cause I want, like, cause it, it was so, so fantastical that it was so much better probably than my boring life, you know? <laughs> well, and you probably watched this before the internet was born. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah. it's amazing. Exactly, <laughs> like I never saw anything like this. Uh, um, did I say when the internet was born? You did. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna say something, I'm no, like, it's oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just no. sentient being, don't worry about Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, soon. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm 56k. <laughs> it's like, oh no, the worst version. <laughs> so they do a, a decent job of making sure you're kind of that that we notice that we're in this certain time period, except yeah. for the mind control machine. Yes, all of Jafar's lair is weird. Yeah, right. it doesn't fit the rest of the movie. Yes, yeah. And it's, I assume the fact that it's a canon movie and the fact that it's an Italian movie, I assume that's a set that was left over from another movie. And they're like, fuck it, we're using it <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. And they're probably, oh, he's a wizard. Oh. He probably just like. He has wizard yeah, he sor he sorcelled <laughs> up some like plastic or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I love that the, 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 the big butch lady that was with Supra, him. Supra, who was on oh. all the PEDs. Yeah. Jafar was joined by another sinister ally. 
skilled in the arts of black magic, a wicked sorceress named Sucra. I think she was a good man. <laughs> well, yeah, because well, no, he, he was so driven on this evil, and she was supposed to be evil, but she'd be like, you know, you're not gonna win. Like, who's yeah. So I loved their banter. That's right. the word. Yeah, they, well, it was good because otherwise it would have just been back to Jafar. I'm evil. <laughs> back to Sinbad. But it had this woman there that's like, well, you might not win. You're right. Yeah, whose side? And then he's like, "Whose side are you on?" Yeah. What it added to the story is all. Mm. And was she literally just on the winning side? Whoever won, like that's the side she'd I go on. I don't know what her purpose was. I, I really <clears throat> think it was just so we had banter back and forth with somebody. I really think that's what it was. Could be. She had to have been. She, I mean, she had to have been someone though, like a fucking famous female bodybuilder uh, or an sure. American gladiator yeah, or something. Sure. A female bodybuilder. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. uh, also around that time, like the 18, 19 minute mark. Uh, the guards, they have hoods, no sleeves, no pants. <laughs> I mean, that's what the guards yeah. wear. <laughs> Can yeah. I off those well, quads somehow? Because it's, you, you attack the head always, so they had to protect it. I don't know. Dude. I'm thinking some, <laughs> I don't know, man. My brain isn't ready for trying to think of stuff. Um, so when they're, so Sinbad has to like retrieve each of these like crystals or mm-hmm. gems or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So the first, what was the first one? Because the second one was like the like like the temptress lady. The second was the the, the first. The second was Amazon Island. Good. Wasn't it the thing where he like popped off his head? It was like yeah. a rock monster. Oh, the like rock that, right? monster. That's right. right. Yeah. So those two were okay, but the third one, the ghost. It was like the ghost warriors. That one was boring. I was bored at that. Yeah, point. that one was because it was just empty armor and it was just them beating up empty armor, and then uh, yeah, it was the worst one all of all, out of all of them. I just like because it because it was just cool to see him fight, but that was about it. Like. It wasn't meh. Uh, I totally almost forgot until I saw this note. Uh, Nadir, the famous wizard. Is that with the mustache? Yeah. Oh, yes. the Probably one of the most annoying characters. Yes. That yeah. Yeah. Covered yeah. I loved him as a kid. You would. <laughs> I, I remember being like, just because he was goofy and strange yeah. and weird. It's like, oh, he's not talking like others. He makes booba booba sounds. Awesome. Now I'm like, oh no! Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know I don't yeah. do much shit you, in my life. I don't want to deal with this guy. <laughs> Did you like Jar Jar Banks as a kid? Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! No, no, because when that came out, I was. You're in probably my, why do you have that fucking poster in your house? Don't tell anyone. I have a, <laughs> on your fridge a, and in the bathroom above my bed. I yeah, do not so have okay. a Jar Jar. And Banks. in your bathroom, it says Misa brush my teeth. <laughs> 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 oh god him? Oh, I know I'm buying you for Christmas yeah. <laughs> Him and Kid we An- saw An- <laughs> Him and Anakin Were the oh, big god. Kid Anakin Were the worst things yes. That Star Wars has ever put out I think You're losing your power Jafar Yes And you know it Yeah <laughs> You're losing your power Jafar And you know that. So does that mean one, Jafar has cameras, and two, Lou Frigno can see that there's cameras? So, yeah. so he can talk oh. into the lens. Well, you know, Jafar's always looking into that like sorcery right. thing so he can see what he's doing. Into that just, Truman show kind of thing. Since Sinbad knows of Jafar. He's known him for a while, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He probably knows that Jafar, because he knew he even knew Jafar he, wasn't a good guy. But he knows where to look, though. So he's like, I see you, Jafar. Yeah, like, that, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking yeah, the fourth yeah. wall. Right, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe Jafar's like, okay, so if you ever like get a crystal, just look <laughs> yeah. north. Because I can only see north really <laughs> well. Confidential from real world. Like, God damn it, yeah. Jafar ate my chips. Yeah. Also <laughs> <good."> <laughs> uh, but to go back to that fucking annoying mustache guy. Yes. There's that scene where he's like, per- like he's prepping food. Mm-hmm. And literally, I'm just like, what the fuck is happening yeah, right now? It's yeah. like, I have no fucking idea. Yeah. But then at 106, uh, uh, Lou Ferrigno makes that weird noise. <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was very confused by it. Lou Ferrigno is in awesome shape. Oh, Holy shit. So, Good lord. The, yes. the, the, the part. Where it was at the beginning, where Lou Ferrigno's got the chain around him. Yes. Like that, that oh, dude that was got the boy. chain. Dude, he, he was like almost more jacked right? than Ferrigno. Yeah. I'm like, Both the wonder I love this as a kid. Like, just like the, 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 the oh, kid, like, just, erotic struggle. <laughs> dude, that's why I'm so confused now, man. <laughs> That, like seriously, like it was. But yes, both of them were very good. Yes, yeah. 
he meets the wizard and the, the wizard's daughter. Right. Which he marries at the end, which is yeah, good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. So, she was even the. Ah, whatever. Well, she, you know, she's, like, she's like, well, the city is occupied by these, like, bad people, the goblins. Oh, yeah, because essentially turns into Swamp Thing with lasers. Yes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> So that's what Lou Frigno, he like they go to find the crystal and they get attacked by these guys and she yes. gets she gets taken away and he just beats everyone up and he's like, Oh, you were taken. I guess I'll rescue you. Yes. And that's yeah. So and then he and at the end he ends up beating the big globby booger guy. Yeah. Yes. With the crystal. Uh, like, that the one that was awesome. He's literally just like, Yep. It was great. <laughs> like, I'll get you. Ah! Is that the one where he rips out the heart and just a smaller like and then shape of his head? Yes. Yeah, that's on the yes. boat. That's on the boat. The Is boat. it? Yep. Remember, they, they're on the boat, and it was right on before they even make it to the stone. The stone guy, Jafar, sends the evil boat people. Remember, they're all standing with their weapons like this above yes. their head. Yeah, they're yeah. holding. Yeah, so that's the beginning. Yeah, and that's when he rips the guy's yeah. heart out. Yeah, that's the beginning. Oh, that was later on. No, <laughs> yeah. Well, he closed, that's when they're like on their voyage. Yeah, or it might have been after the stone guy before the Amazon, but it's at the beginning of the voyage. The end is that big like goober guy that's like, oh, he, he walks out and uh, he's got he's got because he has all the crystals. He's like, pow pow, gets him with the crystals. <laughs> pow pow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it a theme of '80s movies and even early '90s movies for the main character to yell, "I'm back"? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's so <what> you know <laughs> that they're back. Yeah, because I mean Cause that's. Pre Terminator 2, right? Yeah, Which Terminator I mean, 2 was. I'll be Terminator, back. Yeah, but. Terminator 2 was 92, I think. Yeah. yeah. But in Rockula, when he yeah. overemphasizes that he's back, uh, I'm back! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But then uh, Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be Just back. Be people right. yeah, people I know. were excited to be back back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How did you guys feel about the final battle? Where is Lou against Lou? It was interesting. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. It was. It, they they actually filmed it somewhat well, I yeah. was, especially for that it was, time. Yeah, yeah it was it was decently done. Um, again, I can just go back to how I remember it when I first saw it. Like I was like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a two for the guy. <laughs> like I well, that was my bro. I, I couldn't as a kid. I was like, I couldn't have like. How do they get two of them? How are they doing this? Right. You know, it was just. That's why you say when you say it's for kids, it is. Yeah. It is a. It's a perfect kid fantasy yes, movie. I it can, really yeah. is. I can see you really enjoying this movie as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we I we watched it as an adult, I loved it because, probably because of that fact. Yeah, that's probably a good, like, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. So I would, because that's why I would definitely watch it again f for mm. that. You know, I'm not going to watch it tomorrow. You yeah. know, it's not going to be like, in the game, like all the time thing, but. Good. I mean, I haven't seen is it witches or the witches? What's that movie? That's called? so funny. I was just thinking about the witches. Yeah. So, I was trying well, to think of like um, childhood movies yeah. that I yeah. would watch. So like the, the boy that gets turned. Yeah. yeah. I, so I haven't seen that since childhood. Yeah. Right? So I assume rewatching that would be like, oh, like yeah. nostalgia. Yeah. Right. But I'm sure if I saw it just as an adult and never saw it as a kid, I'd be like, oh, this is fucking stupid. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. That's but I guess movie. it all depends on like what it is. I mean, I think witches is a really good movie. It probably maybe. Yeah. Well, it's got, no, Atkinson. Well, it's got some like good actors. In Rowan it. Atkinson. Yeah, yeah. It's got Rowan Atkinson for, for yeah, example. Right. But I just said. But I guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Because like you know, you could have seen like you know Indiana Jones as a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess it all depends on what you're. Because because I'm that's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like some movie that I saw when I was younger. Little Nemo. See, I never got into. <laughs> pajama, pajama, pajama. I, saw, I remember I saw Nightmare on Elm Street as a kid. Right, but I'm trying to think of like but, a like but, but a lower that, that. Like I, I remember laughing as a kid, and I laugh now at it. it like, in, like Nightmare on Elm Street, it made me laugh because I thought because I thought the guy was funny. You just he like, does make yeah. Well, yeah, that, well that's what got me as a kid. I mean, I was scared of the scary stuff, of course. Yeah. But I was like, oh, he's a goofy guy. But oh no, he's not goofy anymore. <laughs> like that kind of thing. <laughs> he's goofy until he kills. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, because like I watch, I watch like space balls, time and, bandits, yeah. time bandits, time uh, time bandits. That was the uh, who I don't think it was a Gilliam movie, but it was with those guys. I don't have any more notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, kids were. Oh, okay. I didn't know the kid at the end where the mom's like, "Okay, you got the story, you shut yeah. up." Yeah. 
the kid has a picture of herself yes. above her bed. And it's an ugly picture. Yeah. Too. She's like, she's like, Argh. yeah. <laughs> like super yeah, messed up like, hair. Who, yeah. Who keeps a picture of themselves like right? Like, so she's sleeping, it's like right there. Yeah. Like, so when she wakes up, she's like, I can't look like that today. And let's get a day going. I used to be so young and pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I turned seven. It's going downhill now. A little bit of trivia. Uh, oh, so at the very beginning, it claims that uh, this was based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Thousand and a Second Tale of Schnazariad. <laughs> uh, but there's actually no similarity between the movie and that story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Very good. Hmm. Uh, like we said, all the uh, basically this entire movie was filmed on location without sound. So they had to do everything later. Um, Lou Ferrigno has stated during an interview that this was one of his favorite movies to make. <laughs> oh. See, then, you know what? That makes me love it even more. His hair is magnificent. Yeah. This movie it is fantastic. Yes. Like he just he is the premium package in this movie. The big muscles, the hair. He is good to go. <laughs> nice. Uh, now that we've talked about Sinbad, uh, Brian, Brian, you still recommend it? I do. Okay, Brian, do you still recommend it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of. I don't hate it, but I'm like I'm not in love with it either. Well, to me, it's like you're not you're not going to go into this movie being like, okay, let's watch a, like a really kick ass Lord of the Rings type fantasy movie. <laughs> it's it, the truth. It's the, yeah, it's not going to be that. But if you want something lighthearted, that you maybe you want like a, a background, like maybe you're like yeah. doing something, or like maybe you're like got a group of fans that like cheesy fantasy movies and you get together to watch them. Watch this. This is a good one. You know, you, you'll enjoy it compared to a lot of the other yeah. crappy, cheesy fantasies that are out there. Better, so, would you guys say is better or worse than The Barbarians? Better. Oh, oh yeah, better God. than The Barbarians. Yeah, so much better. better. Yeah, so much better. Yeah. And I'm trying to think what other fantasy movies we've watched. Hercules. Yeah. Better than Hercules. Yeah. Yeah, Hercules is not good. Yeah. Yeah, I will say that. This is better than Hercules. Yeah. When it comes to Lou Ferrigno films. Yeah. Even though the dubbing was off a bit yeah i think that's what threw me off the most yeah it was it was still i feel even like that was better than hercules like it was still like even though it was off i enjoyed the content of the the back and forth mm -hmm. 50 year old more than hercules <laughs> yeah, I'm to say. Yeah. yeah okay there it is oh there it is <laughs> <laughs> all right till next time boom 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 boom, boom. If you like Nick Cage and horrible great movies from the Canon Group Films, then like, comment, and subscribe for Nick Uncaged Podcast.